Okay, so this is a sewing video, but y'all are not going to believe this because I'm going to be sewing this by hand, believe it or not. Now, we have four ears, four feet, four arms, inners for the feet and the ears, two heads, two bodies. So we're going to be making the cutest little country bunny you've ever seen. So let's get to it. So first of all, you have to cut this out, okay? And you do this on felt. Now, sorry y'all, my husband called me. I have no idea where I left off at. This has been a day. But anyway, this is dark felt. You can get lighter felt, whatever you wanna do. And then I have, like I said, my pieces. I have wire. Now I got this at Hobby Lobby at Christmas time and it's very bendable. This is for your ears, and I'll show you how to do that when we get that far. And then I have this. This is what I have on a needle that I'm sewing with. And then I have a black one for the, for the face. Now, we're going to stuff these. So, before we do the ears, okay, I like to take and set them the way they should be, okay? Um, this isn't rounded enough for my liking, so I'm going to cut that nipple off. Nipple, point, sorry, whatever, that dent, uh, just forget it. I cut that off. Okay, now which way does these go? All right, I think they go that way. Yeah, so I'm going to take the top one, okay, and I'm going to take the one that goes to it which would be this one. I'm gonna set it right there, okay? Now I'm gonna take my trusty glue stick and I'm gonna stick this down because I don't want it going anywhere while I'm trying to stitch it down, okay? Glue stick is fantabulous to hold this down. Um, you don't need a lot. Just smooth it down. Now, do this to both ears, and then you do the same for the feet. Now, the feet will go up like this, okay? So, you'll want one on one side, one on the other side. Y'all do not have to watch me glue all my pieces, okay? So, before I, before I stitch these pieces together, I want to make sure that I stitch this down first, because... Uh, I don't want it, um, I don't want it showing, you know what I mean, on the other side. So, I am going to take black, and this is just the same thing, just, I got a black one and a, and a tan one. You can buy those at Walmart, craft stores, wherever, and it, it's just thick thread, okay? Thick, it's, you can't sew with it or anything like that. It's, in, um, I mean, uh, not embroidery, dear God, what am I talking about? It is... It is uh, floss. Um, you know, crossed it. Not crossed it. Oh, good lord. Crochet thread. Dear lord, I had to take a minute. My brain had to calculate. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put stitches all the way around here. And this is crochet thread. Okay, you can buy it at any craft store. And you can get whimsical with these stitches, such as you don't have to go in line. You can snatch one out to the side. And then make sure that you let it go and you untangle. That might have got blurry, sorry. Y'all have a new camera and I'm trying to learn this camera. And it, it is something. So if you can't hear me, uh, I don't have a lavalier that goes on your chest anymore because it was for my phone. I was using a phone forever and I absolutely loved it. I did my editing on the phone and well most of the time I did it on the phone. And uh, But my phone gave up the ghost and died on me. So here I am using a camera that I love. I just I got to get used to it. Okay so now I'm going to show you another another way I'm just gonna go down in here 
and then I'm going to make a little X like I said you can do any stitches you want just get whimsical fun fancy whatever you want to do and I am going to do this in random spots you know these little little hiccups here all the way around this to secure it down and my feet y'all do not have to watch me do that because this is just going to be something for me okay and I will let you know also you can do these on your sewing machine you do not have to do these hand sewing them um, that's up to you uh, to each his own you can, like I just want this old country handmade look about my bunny okay um, you do not have to have these up just for the Easter per se you can keep them up however long you want to it's your bunny do what you want sometimes it gets knotted up and you'll have to untwist it and just so y'all know I've been cheating I didn't want knots there so uh, I have been just taking a tiny little smear of glue and gluing that string down be careful you don't get burnt all right now what you're gonna do is I'm gonna change my thread color okay and now I'm gonna start on the bottoms of everything but I'm gonna leave an opening because we're gonna stuff these okay so I'm gonna go about right here and and start and you can do a blanket stitch if you want to um, oh there's a knot in there you don't have to do this straight stitch but this is just a straight stitch all the way around okay no whimsical stuff here but if you want to do a blanket stitch you go right ahead I am not good with a blanket stitch and it takes too much time um, for me so I am just gonna go around this bunny this way okay so I'm gonna go around all of these parts oh I hope I can get that out oh yeah I broke it this string breaks very easy but that was my fault because I didn't have it uh, where I needed it that'll be okay so I broke the part that needed broke so when you get all the way around here leave this open and we'll go ahead and stuff it and then sew it sorry when I'm doing something y'all I have got to think now you don't want these spread out very very far because if you do your stuffing will come out but they're not stuffed real tight it's it's lightly stuffed okay okay so I'm down here at the bottom okay now I am NOT going to that glued together I am NOT going to stuff very thick matter of fact if you don't even want to stuff your feet you don't have to I'm just gonna take a little bit of polyfill and shove it down in here and if y'all have trouble this is a tip you can use the end of an eraser that's all I use this for and distribute stuffing in there that's going to keep me from popping my stitches back out like I said you don't want it real stuffed okay you don't want a real fat fat foot you won't be able to sew it back together either very well so just a little stuffing just there we go now once you get your stuffing in you're going to continue your stitches until you get back here 
and then I'm going to simply grab some of my felt and tie it off. Now you want to make sure you got knots in here so you don't it don't come apart, okay? So I'm going to do that to all my pieces now, okay? I wanted to show you that this is the body, okay? And to get it to stand up, I've only stuffed it part way. Now this won't come out, and if you think it will, you can glue it. Glue the whole bottom if you want to, but I'm just gonna take chunky, chunky cat litter. Now you can use rice or whatever, but I prefer cat litter because one, it's cheap, and two, it's heavy. It's just, you know, clay rock. So I'm gonna fill this with this before I uh, finish sewing this up, just so that I know that it has some weight to keep it from tipping over. Because you want this little guy to stand up, or little girl, whatever you make, to stand up, okay? So when I put my cat litter in this hole, and by the way, I got these at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna make a mess, I'm gonna have to vacuum. I'm gonna make sure that I push it in, okay? And then I'll go to the other side and start filling it on the other side. I am a messy, messy crafter, just so y'all know. Just a messy crafter. I got a vacuum, no worries. So I'm just gonna fill this up until it feels plumpy and uh, I get it full and then I'll sew it up. This is the wire that I used for the ears, and this came from Hobby Lobby at Christmas time. But you can get it sometimes at the Dollar Tree. Matter of fact, this is the package it came in. But you can get it at the Dollar Tree wire, floral wire, whatever you want to use. And what I done before I put these together, I want to put my wire in, okay? Um, but so it stays, I'm just going to now, I'm just this wherever it went oh I'm gonna take a piece of tape and this doesn't matter if it's in there or not um but I'm just gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm gonna tape my wire down okay so that's gonna stay right there now if you put it in a mess a mess a, 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 a if you put it in a sewing machine you want to make sure you you know tie that down somehow but anyways also when you stuff your hands stuff just the ends and leave these and then um this is my head and then i got my i think mine's good to go i don't the head will tilt it forward a little bit you know we'll get it but i'm gonna go ahead and put my ears oh i forgot my wire <laughs> i was talking and forgot but i'm gonna go ahead and put my ears together and uh I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to put the face on. So for the nose, I don't have a button that I like. So what I do is I take this. There's a thing that comes with it, but I can't find it. So I'm just going to put this here. And I am just going to cut around this just a little bit. That's probably too much just a little bit around it okay and all I need this to do is slip down in this button I don't know if any of you have done this uh, but it's it's not bad it's easy so this comes together in a set you can get them at Hobby Lobby I know oh what am I doing pop that sucker back out I get to talking and lose control so you put that there make sure you're little circle is almost even or as even as you can get it push it down in there but anyways you can get these at Hobby Lobby you should get them at Walmart I don't know if you can anymore or not but I take my finger and I just kind of smoosh my fabric down in there okay it just kind of helps it out a little bit then you take your back and you put it on now if you've done this you can fast forward disregard just keep watching because I like to talk or whatever then you take this and you'll hear it pop Oops, my fabric came out. Make sure your fabric don't come out, okay? I may have cut it a little, a little short. As 
you hear it pop? I don't know if he did or didn't. But anyways, it, it popped. There's your button. Okay. So, I don't want that color of a nose. It's a big nose. But that's alright. So, I've got this blush. And I am simply going to color my nose. Okay. This is very easy to do. You can paint it if you want to. This is just what I had and it's easy. So now I have a pink nose, okay? Now I'm going to play with this just for a minute. I want that there. So I'm going to make the mouth. Oh, that's not attached. This is. I'm going to make the mouth part on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually going to put a knot here, okay? And this knot is not well if i get one is not going to show because the button is going to cover the knot okay i don't want that big old string so i'm going to use a marker because it's easier for me so my nose is going to go here so i want my mouth to stop here okay and then my two eyes are going to go right here and right right here. I want one above the other, maybe. And like I said, I can heat that and get it off. No big deal. So now I got my marks. So I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to use the top. I mean, I'm going to go from the top to the bottom. I'm going to use the top and the bottom. I'll be all right. I'm just going to pull it through. And then I'm going to get a piece to pull, okay? And that's all you do right there. And then pull that a little tight. And that makes his little face, okay? So now I'm going to do is go in the knot that I had. If I can get in there. And I'm going to make a knot in my knot. Or you can just make a knot. I just made a knot in my knot. Because it's, why not? Oh, doggone it. That's what happens when you have too long of a string. Let me untangle this. Got that tied off. Now, I'm going to attempt to put the eyes on. Oh, here they are. These are just two little buttons. I have some linked in my Amazon store. Uh, well, that's gone. I don't really want to use that. I'm going to get thread thread because I don't want to. Um, actually, I'm going to get dental floss because I, I, I use it. I like it better. I'm going to go on one side. come out the other and bring my stuffing with it let me clip this off because that's not attractive at all is it I'm gonna put my button through there and then I'm gonna go back in come out the other side And I'm going to put my other button on. I'm going through the other buttonhole if I can find it. Aha. Now when I do this, I'm going to pull tight. Don't see that? I pulled tight. I want one a little above the other. And that's where I want it. I'm going to make a loop around the eye 
and I'm going to come back through the loop, okay, and go under the eye. I caught the darn eye. There we go. Go under the eye and pull tight. And there you go. Now, I will secure them with a little glue to make sure they don't pop off, but you can you can sew your eyes on any way you want to. Okay? So let me just reinforce these with a little glue. My eyes are on. And now I'm just going to glue my nose to this, okay? That should have it. I hate glue strings. I hate them, hate them, hate them. Look at that. That's so cute, ain't it? Pinch its mouth up there. Nobody will see this. So I'm just going to go in. Go behind here. Go back in. And I'm going to tack this head down. Okay? Glue alone will not hold it. You have got to tack it down. Going in over here. Going back through. Going in. Going back through. And there we're on. You want to make sure you tie this off real good so your head don't fall off. I'm going to take my blu uh, blush and give him some rosy cheeks. Her, her. Give her some rosy cheeks. Okay? That'll match his nose. Alright. Now for the ears, you can do them this way. You can do them this way. Whichever way you want to do them. Okay? You can do them this way. It doesn't matter. Personally, I'm going to overlap mine just a hair. <laughs> just a hair. Isn't that punny? Okay. So let me just put a little bit. Now, you don't want a lot because you won't be able to get your needle through it. I'm just going to tack these down. This will be covered up. And once again, I'm going to grab my stuff. I'm going to go in and tack these down, okay? You have to secure them down or they won't, they'll fall backwards. Trust me, it's the second time I've done this. You, you, you live and learn. Make sure you don't catch your eyes or your nose when you're doing this and make sure you pull tight. Because if you don't pull tight, it's not going to stay. Now let me show you. You'll want to stitch his ears here, put his head down far enough, Stitch his head down, just going through this, and then stitch this down, just going through this. You don't have to go through the whole thing. And then when you stitch his arm on, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm taking his hand, his hand's going forward, see? And I want them tucked kind of under there, so they're not seen. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to take my thread, and I'm going to catch that right there, and catch that. Then I'm going to go through here. I hope you can see. Don't catch none of this and pull tight. Then catch this and pull. That's simple and his arms 
are attached. Make sure you knot this well. And that's all is needed for his arms. Now I'm going to put paws on. I'm going to show you how I've done that. Knot at my string. I'm going in the side just a little. Going around. I'm going to come up where I was. Pull tight. Then I'm going to go over in the middle and I'm going to do it again. Make sure it's in the middle. Pull it and then I'm going to go and do it again for my last one. This time when I come up, I'm going to go in that thread, I'm going to hold this one, go in it, go in it, keep hold to it, and pull tight. come out the back and clip and there you go there's his paws okay so he's sitting up I did have to put another piece of wire through there to enforce his ears because that wire is not strong enough but if you use floral wire I'm sure that would be quite quite enough okay now his little feet they go this way right here and I do believe a little glue will tack them down, but I'm not sure. That one going that way. Hold that down. And then I want this one going this way. Hold that down. Make sure them get good and attached. Need a little more, a little more bean bags, the All right, now we are going to huh, attempt to make a bow. I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna go over. I want this up a little more. Put this in the middle. Now I'm gonna take and I'm going to start folding this in, okay? And this is going to make my bow for the neck. Now this doesn't matter. That matters. Didn't have a thing on it. This doesn't matter what color it is because we're going to cover it up. Okay. I'm just going to pull it through. I don't have a knot in my thread so I'm going to wind it around. And then I'm going to pull tight. And I'll just tie these two since I didn't put a knot in it. And that is that. Make sure your little doodads are out. Now I'm going to leave that just like that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to tie it in a knot. And now I'm going to glue this to this. And then glue this around. Nothing fancy. Just a bow. Now this, I want to go, whoo, around to cover up this nasty, okay? 
just to cover this up. That's the only reason I'm doing this. Now I'm going to glue this here. Just tack it down. And I'm going to cut this off. And I'm going to tack this down. Let me make sure this is all tacked down. Woo! Be careful, y'all. That glue's hot. Now that that's tacked, make sure this right here looks right. Now I'm just going to take my bow and I'm going to glue it right here. Make sure I put a lot of glue. I don't want it to go nowhere. And her mouth already just untucked. So I'm going to do something, y'all. I'm going to do something, y'all. Watch this. That's so cute. So because her mouth came unpuckered, I'm going to tie a good knot in this. Okay, hold on, I can't do nothing with this glue on my fingers. Oh, there's glue on these fingers. Good night. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go up through here, and I'm going to come out. Okay. I'm just going to attach a pre-made flower. So I don't want it down in her eyes. So I'm going to start with right here. And then I'm going to put glue around here. But I'm going to pop it down right here. And then glue the ears to it. And then glue it to here. That will help hold my ears up as well. And there we go. How cute is she? All right. Let me set her over there. Now, she's going to hold something. So I'm going to take this orange. Whew. This thing is terrible. And we're going to make a carrot. Now I'm going to do this the same way as far as sewing it. And then I've got some green somewhere. Let me find it. And then I'll, I'm just going to stitch this carrot right here. Okay. So I got my carrot here. I'm going to take a piece of green felt. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to fold it in half again. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt this. I'm going to make a leaf. I'm going to start small. And then I'm going to go out. Come in. Go out. Come in. Go out. Come in. Go out. Okay. There's my carrot top. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to get the black and stitch around this. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in here. And, where's my needle? I'm going to draw this up as I go. Okay. Ugh, that's tough through there. I have a long needle. I'm just 
just going to tighten that up. Now it ain't going nowhere. I'm going to tie it off back here. And there is her little, her little carrot she's carrying. I'm not sure where to put this. I think right there. Just stick it right there. So I doubt that it hot glues, to be honest with you. So I'm just going to put a dab and see what it does. I don't trust it. So I'm going to go in back here. And I'm just going to catch it. And that is all. Oops. You have to knot it first, don't you? And there you go. It's got its carrot. Oh, for the love of Pete. I'm going to tack it down here now. I don't want no flopping carrot. Again, just gonna tie it tight. Now, no one will ever know. <laughs> the only other thing I want to do is I am going to take this and give him her some whiskers. Them shouldn't go nowhere unless you got a kid that's going to pull them out. And there is your little bunny. Now how cute is she? So this is what she looks like. And she's all done. And I wanted to show you that I put a little matching rolled rosette. Rolled? I think I said that right. On her butt for her tail. But there she is. Uh, but anyways, there she is, and thank you for watching, and until next time, you are a blessing. Goodbye.